What is up, Cowboys Nation? Your boy Mike Tag here on an early Tuesday morning. Like I said, drop these videos in the morning. Just some thoughts of the day. So if, again, if you're new to the channel, just checking it out for the first time, hit that subscribe, hit that alert button. Of course, hit that like, helps the channel. And definitely appreciate all the support we've been getting. I know, obviously, rough times in Cowboys Nation. Instead of talking football, now we've turned to talking everything else. So first thing I would say, I addressed it uh, last night on our live show. Again, great, all the, uh, appreciate all the support on the live chat and all that stuff. It's always fun. Is the whole thing with Parsons and the comment with McCarthy. Again, typically blown way out of proportion. If you kind of understood what he said, heard what he said, he was talking about the guys like Zach Martin, who's put in so much time with the organization, put in all these years that really don't have much time left. Probably going to be his last year. And for him to walk out, uh, you know, on a season like this, disappointing season, you feel bad for guys like that. Those are Hall of Famers, guys that have meant so much to the organization. So media spend it just like they want to. And again, there's always a portion of the fan base that, that just uh, – listens to the, what the media says is gospel. So definitely no issues with Micah Parsons. You see the impact he has on the team, and he's they're, they're not even at full strength, and he still was able, knowing, you know, the Eagles knew that it was pretty much all they had, and he still wrecked havoc in the backfield given those opportunities. So anyway, we move on from that. Now the next one, and this has been the hot topic. And again, I the, the, the frustrating part about this season is we're doing everything but talking about football because the disappointment in this team. We know there's going to be a coaching change. <clears throat> right, wrong, you know, McCarthy falling on the sword. He was kind of set up to fail. All the other things you want to say, you can definitely see problems with this deep, with this team, and I don't think you're going to be able to recover from it next year. I think you need to clean house, so to speak. I think you need to move on from some, but definitely the coaching staff. Bring in someone to give them control. Let them make the decisions. Let them change the culture. And the name that's always been brought up lately is Deion Sanders. I love me some prime time. Don't get me wrong. But they're saying draft Shador and bring in Deion. And, and, you know, I got to thinking, it's like, isn't this kind of the thing that most of the fan base is bitching about is family-run organization, nepotism. You've got all these guys, you know, in positions that probably from a football standpoint, shouldn't be you got a Stephen Jones that's going to eventually be taking over you got you know obviously the Jerry Jones Jr you got all these Joneses in there it's a family business they can do what they want I got no problem with it but then you're gonna you want to hire a coach who's going to bring his son with him or if we draft him it's going to be a package deal um how's that going to work out how's that going to work out if uh, Shador is struggling, how's that going to work out if he's competing for a job? Is is Deion Sanders really going to bench his son? Is Deion Sanders going to move on from his son if he's struggling? Is Deion Sanders going to have a problem if they don't re-sign his son? I mean, you're again, you you you're bringing another another arm to the circus in town, and that's just not good for the team. This team needs to somehow, and I don't know if it'll ever happen. I'm you know. I'm starting to lose. I'm starting to lose faith that it will. Is to get back to football being the priority, football being number one, not all the sideshow stuff. I mean, get back. I look at, you know, like I talked about it last night. You look at the Chiefs organization. You know, that's all they think about. All it's all football. San Francisco, it's football. These other teams, it's Patriots when they were winning. It was football. There wasn't all the sideshows. And with Jerry, unfortunately. You know, he brings the sideshows with him, and uh, he likes it. So it wouldn't surprise me if they went that route. I wouldn't be shocked. It would be kind of – could be the last straw because I just – I think it's just another – it'd be another example of they're not looking to – they're not looking to be football first because that'll be the ultimate sideshow. And, I mean, you see it now. Look at the media. This team's irrelevant. I mean, let's just be honest. They are irrelevant. Three and six – there's no hope. You might even wonder if they can win another game. They hadn't scored a touchdown at home since the Baltimore Raven game back in September 22nd. We're in getting into the midst of middle of November to Thanksgiving time. You're talking about almost a two-month period where this team hadn't even scored a touchdown at home. That's a problem. And that really might, you know makes you irrelevant this season. But yet the media, it's still... The headlines, they're still being talked about. They're st and I know it's ratings. And the beauty 
it's no different than my channel, which I appreciate is you get more subscribers and more views I, my channel has grown as the cowboys have kind of gone downhill and like i said it's either a therapy session for us ca real cowboy fans or it's the haters that say hey man they look mike tag and the hype videos now we're going to really rag on them and uh, we want to see them uh, implode but that's not going to happen i mean i've been i've been around this block long enough with these cowboys man i'm 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 used to it this is not the the first crazy season they had it's disappointing how it's worked out you know i thought this team could win 10 11 games get in the playoffs didn't know if they'd win the division but at least you know maybe fight their way in and change that mentality be battle tested to go in but i said if they get a catastrophic injury here or there i said it could implode because i just didn't think the depth was good enough in key positions and they didn't address running game didn't address defensive tackle we beat that uh beat that drum all all off season and into the season so this is kind of what happened so Give me your thoughts. I mean, who would you want to come in and be here? Now, say it's a perfect scenario. Jerry is going to give that person their control to pick their staff, do what they need to do. Do you want a Ben Johnson? Had doesn't have coaching, head coaching experience, but you see what he's doing with, with Detroit. Mike Vrabel, you know, that is a name that people kind of forget about, but that's a guy that brings toughness, toughness to the locker room, toughness to the field, played linebacker. You think about a Dan Campbell type, same, you know, same kind of coaching style, tough, hard-nosed coach. Would you like that one? Um, do you want to go another, like, old region? you want to go Bill Belichick? Do you want to go, you know, to that other side? You know, there's, there's going to be coaches out there. Again, I feel bad for McCarthy. I'm looking forward to his, his uh, interview with John Gruden on John Gruden's podcast because I'm guarantee he's going to be on it and have him really say what, what was going on in Dallas. I mean, why... How could a team go 12, 12, 12 wins and then just, and forget the injuries. I mean, this team was doomed early on. Nothing seemed right. Nothing looked right. Even when they were fully healthy, nothing felt right. I mean, they were fully healthy in the first three games of the year and they were one and two and they got blown out twice at home. So there was trouble brewing within the this organization, within this team. So I don't think this was going to be a Cinderella season. This definitely was, was, they were going down that path and the injuries just snowballed it and probably accelerated what was, uh, what was about to happen this year. So that's just being honest. And, you know, as a fan, I hate that, that I even have to say that because I love my team and always feel like they can overcome it. But what I saw last week, you know, with the choice of quarterback, and like I said, it's nothing against Cooper Rush, but if that's your backup, you should be able to run, which I would agree with Jerry Jones, you should be able to run the same offense. And that offense I saw Sunday, that wasn't the same offense that they usually run. I mean, you're talking about two-yard passes all game. I mean, nothing nothing down the field. Nothing in the, you know, I mean, C.D. Lamb, I think, had six catches for 21 yards or something. I mean, that's embarrassing. You know, no continuity. There was nothing there. And Cooper Rush is a veteran. It's not like you just brought in some guy off the street and he was thrown to the fire. Cooper Rush has been here almost the entire time. So, um, just didn't make sense. Trey Lance. You know, the thing on Trey Lance, I don't know what you're going to get. You may get maybe worse, but at this point, his legs can maybe make some an exciting play. He, he could have some upside, you know. So that was the only thought of Trey Lance, but I don't know if either one of them's going to do it. I think they just signed Will Greer, who you guys remember. He's a he's a big body passer type, so I wouldn't even mind if they threw him into the – you need someone to throw the ball. I just need to be entertained. I'm going down to AT&T, Monday night, Texans. Any of my loyal Cowboy fans, if you guys happen to be there for that weekend, I'm going for the fight as well. Give your boy a holler. Uh, we'll be running around Texas Live. We'll be running around, maybe go up to, I haven't been to Playmakers yet. So maybe hit up that and just have some fun. So anyway, I appreciate it. You guys hit that subscribe, hit the like, share with Cowboys Nation, all the support. We are actually approaching 450,000 views on YouTube, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, we started this channel about a year and a half ago, and it's kind of grown and grown and grown. So definitely appreciate all the support. Appreciate all the follows on all the social media platforms. It's mtag 1993 if you guys don't know, and that's on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Mike Tag on Facebook. I appreciate it. You guys have a great Tuesday. We'll be live tomorrow night, so hopefully we'll see you. Uh, we got Kelly K9, so we got to talk Cowboys. It's going to be hard to do to talk Cowboys for like an hour 
about this team in the upcoming game against the Texans. So we need your help to, you know, this is a therapy session for all of us. So we need you guys to come out, hang with us, join the chat. We even have a phone line if you guys want to call in. Just say, hey, I want to, I want to call in, and we'll make it happen. You can be part of the show. I appreciate it, man. Take care. Have a great Tuesday. See you.